As has already been introduced, my name is Michael, and I have a question for you. When I say typical pharmacist, what do you think? Now, a series of dichotomies may come up here. Scientist or people person? Fine detail or bigger picture? Background or foreground? Well, I'm currently training to be a pharmacist myself in my final year here at UEA. And with your permission, I'm going to take you on a little adventure showing how I can be and how any pharmacist can be all of these things and more. Passionate about learning more, not just about the medicines that people take, but about the people that take medicines. Intrigued not only by medicines and medicines research, but also by bringing this information to everyone in a way that everyone from two to 92 can understand. Driven not only by working with other healthcare professionals, but working with politicians and other decision makers to shape the role I can play going forward. So I ask the question, is there such a thing as a typical pharmacist? Come with me into my world and I'll show you. To give one example, when I say antibiotics, what do you think? For many, they think antibiotics is being laid up in bed, punctuated by nausea, diarrhea, and occasional allergic reactions that put you in a hospital bed instead. Pharmacists, some will see a marvel of modern medicine, a range of chemicals and types of chemical that are as varied as the students at this university. Some will see them as enablers of treatments as varied as life-saving surgery and chemotherapy to treat cancer. Some will see them as the artwork, a microscopic ballet, a pugilistic artwork of bacterial stains, controlled explosions of toxic spewing bacterial spheres, unable to stop this irresistible influx of fluid, chinks in bacterial armour kept open by a fine mesh, these antibiotics. Some pharmacists will see patients brought back from the brink of diseases like tuberculosis, early demise averted, rescued from being laid up, to being able to engage with their friends, their family and their local community again. But also, some will see as more important putting all of this into language that everyone can understand, language that everyone can appreciate, language everyone can respect, language everyone can agree with, and thus help more people get more from their medicines. When I say pharmacy, as a profession, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Some will view pharmacy as a profession concerned primarily with the high street, with Boots the Chemist. Some will view it as viewed with the hospital, holding notes at the end of the bed, making decisions. I view it as the world being your oyster, whether that oyster is in a general practice, helping the doctor and the nurse to improve prescribing so that less medicine is used and more medicine is used effectively. Whether that is in pharmaceutical industry, representing the patient's best interest when drugs are being designed. So not only do we end up with fantastic new drugs, but we end up with fantastic new drugs that people can use. Some people see pharmacy as just looking out for pharmacy. I see pharmacy as the epicenter of health policy. Pharmacists engaged with rolling out digital healthcare initiatives, incorporating digital healthcare within the structures of existing healthcare provision throughout the country. Some will see pharmacy as a profession which is capable of conveying information not only to patients aged 2 to 92, but to politicians of all stripes. Just last week, Pharmacy took me to the European Parliament, where I gave evidence and asked questions of members of the European Parliament. Just last year, it took me to meetings with members of the three major political parties in England, asking questions, being given answers, respecting my opinion, 
taking it on board and shaping policy and shaping policy making in this area of the country. Pharmacy, for some, is a means to be able to take them across the known world to different cultures, to different people, to learn their perspective, to learn lessons from alternative sources, to be able to turn it, to be able to take those and turn them into a, new, a novel viewpoint, to be able to use it to impact on the care that I give to two-year-olds, to 92-year-olds, to everyone in between, and on the perspective that I give to politicians. So I finish by saying this, look at me and tell me what you see. Not your typical pharmacist, because a typical pharmacist does not exist. All of the views that I have given exist on a spectrum, and everyone will believe something different. Everyone takes something slightly different from that. Everyone contributes something different to science and to healthcare. And that is why I think more people should think once, think twice, think pharmacy as a career. Thank you for listening.